Hi guys, Omerko here with another video for Angular Material series. This time we will work with clipboard and how we can simply copy our content from a field by using that clipboard. Before we start, visit my website and subscribe to my newsletter. Currently I have a promo so by subscribing you will get excellent deals on my courses. will do is generate my component. To do that I will use command of ng, g for generate, c for component and I will generate my component in component slash cdk slash clipboard. Now I can simply use my component. So in my app.component.html file I will hide component from the last video. If you wish to watch that video you will have a link down in the description of this one. Right after that I will use my clipboard component that I just generated. As we wish to use a clipboard so we could copy our content more easily, well we must import a correct module for that. Go into your app.module.ts file and be sure to import clipboard module from at angular slash cdk slash clipboard. Next to that be sure to pass that module down in imports array as well. Now to copy our content. First of all I will create some content like site to copy and I will pass my site link here. Just to mention I am doing this in my clipboard component, well a typescript file of it. Now to add a bit of content to our html. First of all I will wrap everything with my div. Div will hold a style attribute with text align set to center and margin top of 100 pixel. Now to create the field that will hold our site link. For that I will use mat form field from material and inside I will create the input element. Input element will be styled with material, but it will also hold a ng model bound to site to copy. Currently we have this simple input field that will present our site link to us. So let's create the button next to it, so we can copy the content well the site link here on click of a button. So after my mat form field I will create the button element. The button will be a material raised button and it will be a primary one. I will also add a margin to this button to move it away from the input field. Text for the button can be simply copy. So now to use the clipboard module that we imported we just need to bind the cdk copy to clipboard attribute. And we will bind it to the content that we wish to copy like our site to copy. Because site to copy is our property which holds our url here. To test this now I do have my button in my browser. Clicking on a button should copy my site. So to check that I will remove the content from my input and pass content that I copied. So here it is our clipboard module did copy the content that we wanted. So this is it. Guys don't forget to visit my website and subscribe to the newsletter. That way you will get some fantastic deals from me. Next to that be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel as I post new tutorials weekly. Thank you once again and bye bye.